Okay, I would like to introduce everyone to Frank here. Frank is one of our original English Learner Portal online course contributors, and we've been thrilled to have him and his presence from Canada here representing in the group. So Frank, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your segment for the Portal Peak. Okay, great. Well, well thank you, Kelly, for inviting me into this project. Although I'm, I work in Canada, I am American from New York City, by the way. So, uh, and then been in Canada for a long time and done teaching for over 30 years. So started there pretty much at the high school level and then moved on to university level, did teacher training for, for four years online. Uh, well, actually it was uh, correspondence type teaching. Now I'm at it was what would be in Canada here called the junior college, which are older students, 16 to, to 20. So it's just great for me to participate in this project. You know, I love one of my qualities people say, you know, I, I have a lot of defects, but <laughs> one of my qualities is to be dynamic, passionate about, and so many of your people have told me that they're passionate about teaching, about sharing, about learning, constantly doing things. So, and I use the, the, the language a classroom where I teach with these older students as a laboratory, as a laboratory. Here I'm speaking in Canadian English, laboratory. And, and the songwriting activity, I think, is, is something that even after so many years of teaching, I learned, I learned new things from experimenting from finding stuff and, and, and seeing an idea. So in the, in the songwriting activity, which I had never done before, before last term at the college, you know, I put together these materials that so engaged students. I was just, it just knocked my socks off to see how students just, uh, because students are so uh, familiar with the lyrics of songs. I don't know, you, you have, I have a microphone speaking students and they, they're, these are very advanced students. I, a lot of them are bilingual, and they know they know song lyrics. They don't necessarily know how to write song lyrics. So <laughs> this little 15-minute segment sh is, is a lesson plan. It's a very brief lesson plan with an example from uh, an amazing exam example from, from two young ladies who, who wrote a song and did a PowerPoint presentation on it. So I think it'll be really fun if you're working with older students who are uh, at a pretty advanced level uh, uh, to, to try out this activity. Perfect, it sounds like a, a great addition to the mix of ideas we have for different ages, different styles, and music is definitely a way to bring in your, your older students, uh, especially when um, you can be so cool if you know their music. <laughs> it gives you a lot of teacher credibility. Well, one of the things I found over the years is we don't give students enough credit. We, we underestimate students and we don't, we don't go and get what they're interested in. So I often have, if what I call in my course is participatory. The students get to decide on a lot of the content. I mean, I have content that they, that they should go to, but in the songwriting activity, they actually produce the content. They didn't find it anywhere. They, they found models of songs and then they wrote their own lyrics. And in a couple of cases, some of the students actually sang the lyrics in class that brought tears to people's eyes because they just some of the kids are in music at the college at the junior college they're music majors and so they were able to sing and present the lyrics which was just mind-boggling yeah what a great way for somebody who might not be a, a a writer or might not be a great reader in class but a great way to express what they do know and what talents they have and build their confidence Exactly, and not only that, it touched on themes that normally you wouldn't talk about in the language classroom, and you don't want students really to, to reveal too much of themselves personally, but they got into things like racism and alcoholism and death and, and, and family issues and, and uh, all of these kinds of very touchy issues that they were able to explore through their songs. And the song I had that I show in the, in the, in the clip is about a, a students who were interested in vegetarianism. And it's a scathing criticism of, of the whole meat industry. So if you're uh, if if you're anti-vegetarian, don't watch the video. <laughs> Skip through that part. <laughs> well, Frank, thanks for taking the time to tell us about your segment today, and I look forward to watching it myself because I'm always looking for new ideas. So, uh, thanks for always being a great team member for English Learner Portal, and. Uh, stay warm up there. Yeah, thank you. It's minus uh, 17 now with 25 inches of snow on the ground. So. Oh, okay. You can keep that. <laughs> right. okay. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Have a great week, Kelly.